Hey Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you dealing with a Virgo romantically. This is a timeless reading today, Virgo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. It is also a general reading. It may or may not resonate. You are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Let's get into it. Let's see what's coming toward Virgo in love. First card out, beautiful, the fool. This is about brand new energy. This is about new opportunities coming into your love life, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship. Now, there could be a situation in your love life right now where maybe you need to take a bit of a leap of faith. Maybe you need to try something new. Maybe you need to be a little bit daring. Step outside of your comfort zone a little bit right now, Virgo, and I think that could get you closer to what you want when it comes to love. Again, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, what is something new that you can try this week? What is a new experience? What is something that you can do that puts you in a new situation, new energy, where you can connect, if you're single, connect with new people. If you're in a relationship, maybe it's some sort of new experience that the two of you can have together. But I definitely feel this very fresh and vibrant energy coming towards you in love right now. There could also be somebody approaching you, especially if you're a single Virgo and saying, you know, take a chance on me, Virgo, take a chance. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here for Virgo. Ooh, the unknown. Now, if you're familiar with tarot, you're probably like, what the heck is this? I use the Crystal Visions Tarot when I do my tarot readings. This has an extra bonus card in the deck called the unknown. And I leave it in the deck because I just, it's kind of an interesting card when it shows up in a reading. And I think it's particularly interesting in the reading that we have for you so far today, Virgo, because the first two cards are the fool and the unknown. So, I really think that there's gonna be a situation right now in your love life where you might not have all the information, you might not know exactly how things are gonna play out, but you kind of have to trust the process. There's an Oracle deck that I have. I think it's the Spirit Animal Oracle. And there's a card in that deck that says, trust the great mystery, okay? I think it's the whale spirit. Anyway, that's a super cute Oracle deck, Animal Spirit Oracle, something like that. And that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here, Virgo, where it's like, you kind of just have to trust the process right now. You cannot control everything. Like I'm getting a very strong intuitive message for you today, Virgo, that's like, you can't control everything and you need to go with the flow and see what happens. You might not have all the information. You might not all have all of the pieces of the puzzle, but there's something going on in your love life that's going to surprise you, but you have to be open to these opportunities that are coming your way. You need to trust the great mystery of what is happening in your love life. And you need to recognize that you can't micromanage everything that's gonna happen in love. A lot of what happens in love, and this has been my experience, and I'm sure many of you can resonate, there's lots of things that have happened that I didn't expect, that I didn't anticipate. Really good moments, things that I could have never expected to happen. But the thing is, you need to be open, right? If you're looking for love, maybe you've got this very specific rigid plan of how you're gonna find love and what it's gonna look like. I would say be a little bit more open right now, Virgo, to what comes your way and stop trying to control the outcome of the situation. I also feel like this applies to those of you in a relationship. If you're putting pressure on a situation or if you're trying to control an aspect of your relationship, I just feel like pulling back your energy a little bit right now and just trusting and going with the flow is going to get you so much closer to whatever it is that you're working to manifest right now. You'll have to let me know if that connects with your energy. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's see for Virgo. And then we've got the 10 of swords. So here's the thing, you guys, I can see that you've gone through pain. This, okay, how am I gonna explain this? So you know how a moment ago I was saying you might be trying to control things, micromanage things, um, you know, try to like plan out how everything's gonna happen. Sometimes I feel like that's a response to a traumatic situation or something negative that's happened. And let me explain what I mean by that, Virgo. I can see here with the Ten of Swords, somebody betrayed you. Now with the Ten of Swords, the betrayal, it's not happening right now for most of you. It's already happened. It's something that happened in the past, okay? For the vast majority of you. But there is emotional scars. There's pain. Somebody literally stabbed you in the back. You're working through it. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to wrap up this cycle with the Ten of Swords but I still see that there's some of that lingering emotional energy from the past. And so what happens sometimes I think is that if we've been hurt before in love, 
we try to cope with it, right? This is a very human thing. If I've been hurt before, I'm gonna try to find ways not to get hurt again. That makes a lot of sense. However, the way that we cope is sometimes not always the most healthy. And I just feel like you've been hurt before, somebody broke your heart, somebody betrayed you, somebody lied to you, and you're like, okay, I wanna make sure that never happens again. And the way that I'm gonna make sure that it never happens again is I'm gonna make this list and I'm gonna approach dating this exact way and I'm gonna look for this exact kind of partner. And it's like the way that you're trying to avoid never getting hurt again is by trying to really neatly control the situation and have things play out in a very specific way. Here's the thing though, life doesn't work like that because we're dealing with other people. They have free will, they have their own agency. We can't control them, we can only control ourselves. And so I feel like you're trying to potentially impose some sort of parameters on your love life because you want it to play out a certain way. And it's like, love is not like that. Love does not play out that way. You kind of just have to you know, look at it and say, I've been hurt before, that was awful, it sucked but I'm not gonna close off my heart. I'm gonna choose every day to get up and I'm gonna choose to be open to love even though I've been hurt before. I'm still gonna choose to put myself out there and I'm gonna see what happens. And I'm just gonna be brave and I'm gonna take a leap of faith and I'm gonna recognize that I don't know how things are gonna play out. I mean, I've had relationships that started out and I thought they were perfect and they ended up falling apart. I've seen this with friendships as well where you see a couple and you're like, it seems perfect, it seems great, and it ends up falling apart. So the moral of the story is, as much as you try to control things, nothing is ever guaranteed, especially when it comes to love, because you've got a dynamic between at least two people who are showing up in their own individual ways, and that's gonna play out how it plays out. It could play out beautifully and you stay together forever, or it could play out in circumstances where you feel like you've been hurt before. But I, I just, you have to let me know in the comments if this connects with you, Virgo. Is this resonating? Like, are you feeling the need to really control things to avoid getting hurt? I feel like if that's the case, there's a beautiful invitation here. It's very encouraging. It's very positive. And it's like, you know what? Stop trying to control the outcome. Open your heart to love and be open to the unexpected opportunities and surprises that could be coming your way right now. I feel like this is a very Virgo way to approach things too. I'm a Virgo moon, by the way, you guys, if you didn't know that about me, as I'm talking through this, I feel like this is such like a Virgo thing where it's like, I want to like line up all the details and I want to like figure out all the boxes are checked. And it's like, maybe you just got to go with the flow a little bit more right now, Virgo, when it comes to love, because I see somebody here who's very excited. They want to take a leap of faith. They want you to take a chance on them. And that's what you're being encouraged to do. I mean, at the end of the day, you do what you're comfortable with, but I feel like that's the invitation that is being made to you in the tarot. So let's look more at the person whose energy is here for you. We'll look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then we'll look at the same thing for you, Virgo. So tell me about this person who Virgo is dealing with right now. Five of Swords. This person has also dealt with some shit in their life, Virgo, okay? This person, it looks like, is walking away and disconnecting from things that have been toxic. It is definitely possible here with the Ten of Swords that your person also went through some sort of betrayal. So this could be a situation where both of you are coming into this connection, maybe feeling a little bit burnt, feeling hurt because of somebody who heartbroke you. Heartbroke you? Is that the right way to say that? <laughs> No, somebody who broke your heart. I guess you could say they heart broke you. Anyway, um, I do see for your person that they could have also gone through that experience here at Virgo. But the good thing with the five of swords is that they're actively disengaging from that negative energy. So this could be somebody who has recently walked away from some sort of toxic situation that they've been dealing with when it comes to their love life. Tell me more about this person. My gosh, that's too many cards, you guys. <laughs> like five cards flying. Tell me more about this person. The chariot, good. This is really good, you guys, because we've got the five of swords followed by the chariot. What is the chariot? It's a card of willpower and determination, moving forward, taking control of your life. So what I see is that your person is actively taking steps to move away from a toxic and heartbreaking situation, and they're taking control of their life and basically saying, I'm not going to let this past negative experience define who I am and how I show up now when it comes to love. Gorgeous. This is nice, you guys. And then we got the eight of wands, right? So they're really moving forward. I think that your person is being quite intentional about not letting the past define them. I see that they have been heartbroken, like I said, 
but I also feel like they are really embodying that energy of the fool where they're like, look, I can be heartbroken. I can be bitter. I can be resentful. I could choose never to date again because I don't want to get hurt. Or I could realize that that really sucked, but I deserve more and I know I'm going to get it. And that's the energy that the fool is really encouraging you guys to embody right now. And I feel like your person in particular with their overall energy is doing a really good job of moving forward in their life and being open to opportunities coming in. So that's good. It tells me that even if they've been hurt, they're actively working on it. And I think that's important as well, Virgo, because when somebody has been hurt before, if it's not dealt with, if it's not acknowledged, then it might be brought into the relationship. Like if this person came in with all of this emotional baggage, all of this unresolved trauma, and they were not dealing with it, that can sometimes show up as problematic. In your person's case, I can see pain, I can see heartbreak, but it looks like they are actively going through that process of healing, releasing, letting go, and looking forward. So that's really positive. Tell me what they're feeling. The moon, yeah. There's definitely some fears and anxieties here, Virgo. I think that whatever happened with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords, it introduced a lot of doubt for them in terms of their worthiness. They may have left that connection wondering, am I lovable? Am I worthy? Am I ever going to meet somebody? And so there was a big emotional toll that definitely accompanies this betrayal and this heartbreak. But again, I feel like emotionally, this person is bringing this stuff to the surface. They're addressing it. They're starting to work through it. There are moments, though, when they do feel anxious and they do feel insecure. But I do feel like they're working to move past these issues. Tell me more, please, for this person. Wow. Four of Wands. Because at the end of the day, you know what they want here, Virgo? They want love, right? This person is just craving a beautiful connection with the right person. And I think what they're coming to realize here is that they're amazing. They have a lot to offer when it comes to love. They just gave themselves to the wrong person in the past. And now what they're really focusing on is giving their heart to the right person, which could very well be you, Virgo. Let's get one more for what they're feeling. Let's see. And then the Seven of Swords. Yeah. So again, there's a little bit more of that energy of those anxieties, a little bit of that self-sabotaging energy. Like I said, this person is working on themselves, but nobody's perfect and healing is not linear. So what I see for your person is they have good days and bad days. They have good days where they're moving forward. They're feeling great. They're feeling excited. They have days where they get up in their head as well. Okay, so you should you should just be mindful of that. Like there are days where they feel insecure. There are days when they feel great. There are days when they feel like they're not enough. And so there is a little bit of that energy of them still working through some of these challenges. And it's important for you to know this Virgo because this can show up in the relationship. And I feel the way that this could show up in the connection between you and this person is a little bit of neediness on their part, right? Like if there are moments where they start to get anxious or they go a little bit into that self-sabotaging place or they're feeling a bit insecure, you might pick up on that and that might be a moment for the two of you to talk through it and or it might be a moment for you to give them some reassurance about the connection between the two of you. And I think you're going to understand that because we're going to look at you in a moment, Virgo, but I just feel because the Ten of Swords showed up in the overall energy, there is something here for both you and your person about some sort of emotional baggage or emotional healing. And so if your person is coming in and they're talking about some of these fears and anxieties and insecurities, I feel like you're going to be very loving and compassionate toward that situation because you're going to be like, I get it. I've been hurt before. There are times where I feel really insecure. There are times when maybe I do things to push people away because I'm scared, but you get it. And because of that, the two of you are able to, I think, work through this stuff together. We'll see where the rest of the reading goes, but I'm definitely feeling a supportive energy toward each other right now. Uh, let's see what actions they're taking. Two of swords. Okay. So yeah, I mean, oh, it's like they're trying to move forward, but they are still a little bit scared. Their head is telling them one thing and their heart is telling them another. They're feeling like they're at a little bit of a crossroads. As we're getting a little bit more into their energy, I am picking up on more of this anxiety. I do think they're working through it, but I do think there is some heavy stuff that they're having to deal with right now. 
They obviously have feelings for you here, Virgo, but they are still navigating some of those challenges related to the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. And so there might be a little bit of fear where they want to move forward with you. They want to embody that fool energy. They want to take that leap of faith, but they do get insecure sometimes. And there might be moments where you feel like things are a bit stalled within the connection. Tell me more. The sun, but you make them so happy. This is what I'm talking about. Your person's energy is so interesting today, Virgo, because it's like tough energy followed by beautiful energy and then a little bit tougher energy and then beautiful energy. And that's what I was saying where I'm like, you might be noticing with your person that they're still in this process of healing and there might be moments where they pull back, they feel anxious, they feel insecure, but then they also realize they're so happy with you. So they overcome those moments by focusing on the joy and the connection between the two of you. What else? And then the Four of Pentacles, yeah. In this reading here, I think the Four of Pentacles for them is representing what they need to let go of to move forward. And I do think that they're actively working on themselves. There's something with the Four of Pentacles, some sort of attachment that needs to be released in order for them to fully show up. Now the Four of Pentacles is showing up in their actions. So to me, it feels like they're going to be actively doing things to let go of situations and circumstances and people that no longer serve them because they're really trying to show up for you here, Virgo. But like I said, emotionally, it looks like they're still dealing with some stuff. So they might need some time and space to do that. Let's look at you, Virgo. Let's look at you. Page of Pentacles, good. You're moving toward this person. You're making them an offer. You're excited to get to know them. Tell me more. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I mean, this is really beautiful. You look like you're open to love. You're open to new connection. You're open to being surprised. That's actually gorgeous. Let's get one more for your overall energy for Virgo. Oh, okay. All right. So we've got the devil. Okay. I got to cover it up. YouTube has got an issue with this one particular card. Um, here's the thing. So let's break down your overall energy, Virgo. We got the page of pentacles, the ace of cups and the devil. So on the one hand, you're excited about this person. You're excited about this new opportunity. You're excited about this love connection. But then the devil is telling me that you're still a little bit scared. You don't want to get into another unhealthy relationship. You don't want to get into another toxic situation. So your energy kind of parallels your person where I see you being excited about this connection. But then with the devil, you're like, is this good? Is this okay? Is this healthy? And it's like, you're trying to manage the situation and look for red flags. And um, I, that's important. I'm not saying don't look for red flags. You know, keep your eyes open. Keep your wits about you, right, Virgo? Uh, but I do see there is a little bit of that fear where you're like, I want new love, but I also really want to make sure I don't get in another toxic situation that ends up like this, right? So it feels like both of you are maybe approaching this with a little bit of caution. What is Virgo feeling? The magician, that's good. Moving forward, ready to manifest the life of your dreams, ready to maybe start opening up emotionally. Wow, 10 of cups, ready for your happily ever after. You're ready to set down roots with somebody and build a family, whatever that looks like. It doesn't necessarily mean having kids. Maybe you plan to have 17 cats. I mean, that's what I would love to do, right? <laughs> I got two cats, by the way. If you watch my channel, you've definitely seen them before, but whatever building a family looks like for you, I see emotionally that you're very ready for it here, Virgo. Let's get one more for what you're feeling. The high priestess, that's gorgeous. I mean, your feeling energy is looking really good with the magician, the ten of cups and the high priestess. What this tells me, Virgo, is that I feel like you're emotionally making sense of what happened. You're starting to get perspective on the past situation that caused you pain. And I feel like there's a healthy level of detachment that's starting to form where you're able to now look at that situation and be like, that was awful. That 10 of swords sucked. I was betrayed. It really hurt. But I'm also going to choose to embody the fool energy and move forward. I'm not going to let that past situation hold me back. So I see you dealing with your feelings in a very healthy way here, Virgo. What actions are you taking? The Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Actively moving forward, focusing on the future instead of focusing on the past. Letting good things come in. Let's see what else the two of wands, starting to plan a bit more for the future, right? Sometimes what happens when we go through a breakup is now we have to do a whole reassessment of what we want. And that can be very exciting. And it feels very exciting with the Wheel of Fortune and the two of wands. Let's get one more. 
and then the lovers. I love it. Okay. So uh, gorgeous. I'm just smiling here for you, Virgo. The lovers is about finding love, choosing love, and choosing yourself. Okay. So let's break down before we look at the potential outcome here. Let's just kind of break down what's going on with you and your person. You look like you're further along in the healing journey than your person. I think that you've had time to process emotionally whatever that Ten of Swords was. There's still a little bit of hesitancy with that devil. You're very mindful of anything unhealthy or toxic that could be showing up within a connection. But I also see that, like I said, it feels there's a heavy, a healthy level of detachment from this heavy situation where you're starting to realize like that doesn't define me that was hard, but it doesn't shape my future. And you're choosing to focus on the positive because there's so much positive here, Virgo. There's Ace of Cups, the Magician, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers. Like, even if you go back on this video like 10 minutes and you look at your energy, there's so much positivity. And I feel like this represents the positive, unexpected opportunities that are coming in. And I feel like you're ready to receive. Now, your person, they're getting there, but I think they're still pretty much like dealing with some stuff right now with the energy that we saw. They are actively addressing it with that chariot and with that eight of wands, but there are moments where they are going to get anxious. They are going to get insecure. They are going to kind of perhaps even shut down a little bit. And, you know, I'm not saying that's good or bad. I think it's just part of their process and it's something to be mindful of. I think the important thing, this is how I look at it. And this is not a tarot thing, take it or leave it, Virgo. But my perspective is whenever we get into a relationship, we are all bringing our history and baggage into a relationship. Nobody's coming into a relationship as a blank slate. It's not like I ceased to exist outside of this relationship. And now that we're together, I exist. You know what I mean? We are all coming into it as adults, as fully formed beings who have lived life and had experiences. We're bringing our stuff in. And some of that stuff is hard stuff and trauma and challenge and heartbreak. So the, I don't think it's reasonable. This is my opinion for somebody to be like, I need to be with somebody who's never had issues or never had challenges or never had trauma or somebody who, you know, has dealt with it completely. I don't think that's reasonable because I just don't think life is that simple and I think healing like I said it has ups and downs it has good days and bad days but what I do think is important here is that if you're dealing with somebody and they've got trauma they got issues they got past stuff we all do right how are they dealing with it are they addressing it and I feel like your person is and I think that's the most important thing I don't think it's reasonable to expect that somebody's going to come into a relationship with no baggage or no issues but I do think what's important is that that person is taking ownership of that and healing and working on themselves and committing to their continual growth so the reason I'm saying this to you Virgo is that because there is a little bit of tougher energy with your person I see them still working through something I think the big thing you just want to be mindful of is are they working on it and if they're actively working on it and they're addressing it, I think that's a positive thing, right? If they were not dealing with anything and just getting triggered and getting anxious, maybe that's somebody who needs to go work on themselves before being in a relationship. So just some food for thought in terms of managing some of the potential anxiety that could be showing up in your person's energy. Let's look at the potential outcome here. Seven of Cups, okay. So there is a little bit of confusion and uncertainty here in the outcome. You're probably picking up on your person's anxious energy and it's creating a little bit of doubt here. King of Wands, okay, but there's passion and there's connection. What is this? And then the Three of Swords, okay. So here's the thing, you guys. I don't know if this is necessarily gonna turn into something long-term, okay? And you probably don't like to hear that, right? You probably don't wanna get to the end of the reading and be like, oh, I invested in this and it didn't work out. What I'm kind of feeling here is that, like I said, you're further along in your healing journey. You're being open to opportunities. There could be somebody who you're connecting with right now. They do have feelings for you, but as we saw in their energy, they've still got insecurity and pain. That could potentially lead to things not working out between the two of you. I keep it honest with you guys on this channel. If this person is not showing up evolved or if they're not ready for a relationship, that's okay but you gotta let each other go. Because what I see here with the Seven of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Three of Swords is that there is a connection here. There is some really good chemistry, but maybe your person is not ready to show up. But what can be learned from this situation? Here's the thing. I think what's actually going on for you, Virgo, is that this is a situation that's showing you you can put yourself out there again. 
So I think you should expect that there could be somebody coming into your life. And I see fun moments, by the way. I do think you're gonna have some fun with this person, but in terms of turning into a long-term connection, I don't know if it's gonna go there because your person, I think, still has some stuff they need to work on. But I feel like through this connection, you're gonna realize that you can put yourself out there and you can love again. You're gonna realize that it's okay to you know, go out there and to meet new people and it's okay if it doesn't work out. It almost feels like this might be a little bit of like a stepping stone energy Virgo where it's like this is the barrier that you need to cross in order to fully open up again to love. And it could be one of those things where maybe you date this person for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you have some good moments, but it doesn't work out but it proves to you that there are good people out there, that there are opportunities. And I'm kind of, I kind of want to say here, I feel like this is a situation that's going to help you get your dating mojo back, Virgo. And so I just think that being open to opportunities right now is going to let you connect. It's going to let you get your confidence back when it comes to dating. Not everybody who comes in is necessarily going to be the right person, but I do feel a sense here of you getting more confident and self-assured and starting to be like, you know what? I'm ready to leave the past in the past. I'm ready to let it go. I'm gonna date. I know not everything is gonna turn into a long-term relationship, but I'm gonna let myself enjoy the process and I'm gonna see where it goes. And I think that by doing that, Virgo, the right person is gonna come in. It might not be the first person you date. Maybe it's the second, maybe it's the third, but what you're doing here is you're putting yourself back out there and I see you really creating opportunities for love. So it just becomes a question now of finding that person who is available and ready for that commitment and who you feel you have that compatibility with and don't be scared to say no to people if it's not right like i said with this person i think you know they're a lovely person they've got some stuff going on so you know you could have some good moments but then if it doesn't end up being right that's okay it's okay to be like i enjoyed my time with you this isn't quite what i'm looking for i don't know if we want the same things but i wish you all the best and you keep moving forward and i think that mindset right now is what's going to bring in the person who you're meant to be with okay so I'm going to leave it there for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, you guys know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, I do offer personal readings through my Etsy shop. I will tell you though, Virgo, it is a different style than what I do here on YouTube. But if you are interested in getting a personal reading, you can look in the description box below this video. I've got the links to my Etsy shop and you can see everything that I'm currently offering if you are interested in that. But in the meantime, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, my darlings, and we will talk soon. Bye, guys.